Hi there, this is Miguel Nunez on week three of the stay at home mandated by the government here in San Diego. I'm coming back to you with a little bit of, of uh, an update on how uh, all this coronavirus is affecting real estate. And of course, you guys as a private fiduciaries and trustees have to deal with the real estate, uh, especially these days, it's very tricky. So I just want to give you an update on that. Real estate is now an essential service and we now have a little bit more of flexibility to be going out and visiting the properties and making sure that the crews are working. So I'm not as nervous on the road now, but I do have to go up and open the homes and make sure that the crews uh, have work to do. I mean, they really need the job. So uh, on one side, that's pretty good. Still no open houses. Inspections, it really depends on the inspector. We had a property inspector and he came fully uh, covered with gloves and everybody left the house and uh, he had cleaned everything that if he had touched, which he almost he didn't. So. Uh, that's happening to the discretion of the inspector. Appraisals, right now the appraisers are doing drive-bys and or they're called, what you call desktop uh, appraisers as well, uh, appraisals. So that's happening. Eviction moratorium, they're stopping right now. They're not, they're not evicting people. That's slowing down as far as the foreclosures. There's also, there's a moratorium for that. Uh, and we still don't know how long that's gonna last. Uh, you can, for example, call a bank and, and request a mortgage, a mortgage payment deferral. Uh, they could give you between 30 and 90 days. The trick is that you have to wait a long time on the phone. That's the only way you can reach them to see, to get in, in front of them and see if you can get that referral. So it, it's worth a try. So finally, let's talk about contracts. There are two new forms. Well, one is a revised COVID form. And there's a there, so there are two new forms that basically tell you this that the buyer could at one point request an extension of time or a uh, cancellation of the contract. So now what these forms are doing, which is which is a little bit better, is now they are trying to make sure that somebody's not getting cold feet and canceling the contract. So now if somebody wants to cancel a contract and they claim that it's by the COVID situation they will have to write down there and prove that they're, why are they affected uh, and they have to prove it. Otherwise they may not get their deposit back or they may not have the ability to cancel the contract. So I'm glad they're doing that. Uh, we want to keep everybody in good faith working. So anyway, sorry for the email again. I'll keep track of you. And if you have any questions, let me know and hope to see you soon. Stay very safe. Bye-bye.